Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm trying to turn that down and have a little bit less reverb, but I don't know. Who can know? So, so um, um, for release, release, I trust, I trust you all have done that. And, and um, today, today is our first, first lesson. I have a new quarterly. The, the, um, the whole quarterly is about, about worship, worship and, and covenant, covenant um, and community. community. So, so meaning all, all of us. us. We have we three different, different um, sections <coughs> or units. units. And the, and the first, first one, one is about leaders setting a uh, worship example. And, and so our first story is about Abram and about him setting a worshiping example. And the next several lessons will be about that as well. And then we'll go to Psalms of the Old Testament. And the last part in November, appropriately, will be Psalms of Thanksgiving and Praise. Um, today's lesson comes from Genesis uh, chapter 13. Entitled, entitled Abram. Abram. It seems, seems odd, odd to call it Abram, Abram doesn't, doesn't it? Yeah. You always want to go with Abraham. Abraham. But he's but not he's Abraham. Abraham. Yes. 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 And it's certainly so a distinction, distinction between being, being Abram, Abram and being Abraham. Abraham. And, so Abraham. and so this, so this lesson is about, about building an altar at Mamre uh, near Hebron. Hebron. And, and because, because I know, I know that, that Tommy loves maps, maps we've, we've gotten, gotten this one out a little bit today. Here, here is Hebron. Here, here is Hebron, Hebron Tommy, Tommy, right, right here. Pretty, pretty close, close to the Dead Sea. sea. So, so this, this is where he's going to end up. And, and we know that Lot is going to end up on the other side, side uh, in the area of Sodom and Gomorrah. With, with not such good, good luck in the future, future but that's that's, that's not, not right, right now. now. So here, here we are, Tommy, Tommy and anybody else. else. Here, here we are, land, land of Canaan, Canaan and this is where Abram is going to end up. He had a goodly man in the city of Ur, just as you are, uh, which I think is in Syria, one, one of, of the oldest um, cities on Earth. Earth. And he and left the earth, as you probably know, know and God, God, God said, said, you know, get up and go. Know, and, he went, and then he ended up in Egypt for a while. Remember that, that story? With Abram, Abram and, and his sister, sister um, Sarah, Sarah, which, which ended, ended up with some difficulties uh, with the Pharaoh. And, and then eventually he's on the road now to find this land that God, that God wants him to go to. to. Um, but before, before we go, go to that, that particular part, let's talk a little bit about the pre-lesson pre story. story. It's about, it's about making, making decisions. decisions. And then sometimes, sometimes we make good choices, choices and sometimes, sometimes we make bad choices. choices. Can, Can everybody agree with that? that? Yeah. 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 I don't I think, think any of us can say we've always made good choices. choices. And, and sometimes, sometimes we make bad choices and sometimes, sometimes we almost know they're, they're bad, bad choices when we make them. But like like we, we make them. And, <laughs> and, and, and the um, um, like I said, here from Star Wars, I have a bad, bad feeling about, about this. this. Yeah, so. And, and then, then the author, author talks about living in different, different places. places. Lived, lived in, in Chicago, Chicago. And then, then went to Bombus Hills, Hills, Tennessee. Tennessee. That title, that title in that, that, that town gives away right away. Bombus Mill. Mill. So, so what's, what's the, the point, point of all this? Talks, talks about where, where he has lived. lived. Where we live, you should honor God. That's, That's right. right. Wherever, Wherever you live, you should honor God. God. And, and he says in the lesson, lesson it's, it's not, not about, about the places, places but, but it's, it's about, about the people. people. It's not, not about, about the places, places but, it's but it's about, about the people. people. Um, the places, places may be beautiful, beautiful but, but really more importantly are the people. And, and so we have this little story about him, him and then it leads us into Abram and Lot. And, and, and the first, the first question, question is, why does God, God deserve our honor in all that we do? Because, because he's God. God. <laughs> yes. yes. Clarence. 
uh, I wrote something uh, 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 God, uh, man, man, man is not, is not the same, same man, man is the same of God, not the same of his himself. Man, man is the same of God, and man, man is the same of himself. Okay. Himself is not, not the same as the same God. God. So, so we're not, not the same, same as God. God. We're, we're the same, same as God. We're not, we're not the same of ourselves. Okay. Uh, uh, God, God is the image of God. God. All right. Since, Since God, God made, made us, us all, all that would be a reason to honor him. him. Uh, he, he provides for us. Um, it might be. I, I don't know. And so, so question, question, go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Question, question number two, two do you find it easier to meet with God in a particular place? place? <clears throat> I do in a quiet place or maybe outside, you know, feeling the sunshine or the night sky. When you see something really nice, yeah. kind of the connection. I go put it in Montana and make a little stick lace your leg. That's a nice way to do it. Be connected. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Sometimes in the sanctuary, you might, might feel closer, closer to God. God. Uh, you go in and sit there early, early or whatever. Uh, and and meditate, meditate or whatever. Pray. pray. Um, different, different areas, areas of, church. of church. Maybe different Maybe areas, areas in your home. You feel closer. You feel closer. It's, it's easier, easier to meet with God. God. It, you know, you know, in, in your, your study, study, in the bedroom, in the, bedroom, uh, in the, the closet. closet. Uh, so, so you know, in lots, lots of different places. places. My husband wasn't much for going to church. But he was always outside. He loved being outside. Yep. yep. And, and how, how does trusting God, God help, help you honor him, him wherever, wherever you go? You know he's going to take care Always looking over your shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Trust him. Trust him. You know, no, I'm sick and like As long as we're listening. listening. Yeah. Yeah. Stand, stand up today. Yeah. So, so trust and honor God, God go together. together. We, we trust, trust God, God. We should honor, honor God. God. Well, well, in today's, today's lesson, lesson was, uh, from, from Genesis, Genesis uh, uh, Abraham, Abraham lets Lot, Lot choose. choose. And, and read, read number, number one, one. Would you, would you take, take verses, verses 8 through 13? 13. And Abraham said, let, Let there be no strife, I pray, I pray thee, between, between me and thee, and between my herd and, and the herd they will be brethren. brethren. It is not the whole land before thee. Separate thyself, I pray, I pray thee, from me. me. If, if thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if, if thou forward to the right hand, and then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and said, Yeah, all that all that plain of joy that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Solomon and Gomorrah, even as the burden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, and if thou comest into the Lord, then the last chose to not choose him all the plain of joy, and Lot and Lot journeyed the east. And, and then separated himself, the one, one from the other. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the sea of the of the plain, fifty his tent down towards Solomon. But, but the men of Solomon were wicked and sinners before, before the Lord exceeded. Thank you, Clarence. Uh, so, so Abraham and Lot have traveled. traveled. What's, What's the relationship between Abraham and Lot? <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Lot, Lot is Abram's, Abram's nephew. nephew. And um, so, so it's his, his brother's, brother's son. son. Uh, although although oftentimes as you read the scripture, they talk about his, his brother, brother, Lot. Lot. Uh, I think it just means in a sense like his family. But it is several, several times says specifically that it's his nephew. nephew. So, so they, they travel, travel together. together. And um, when, when Abram leaves, Lot goes with him. So they travel all around. 
And what, and what is, is their, their job? job? What, what do they, they do? do? Abram and the lot. They're herdsmen. herdsmen. They're nomadic herdsmen. They're, They're wandering, wandering around with, with their flocks. Cattle, cattle, sheep, whatever, whatever it is. It is. And, evidently, and evidently, they both have both have size size flocks. flocks. They both they done, done well for themselves. themselves. Earlier in Genesis, it talks, talks about Abram having lots of gold and silver. silver. So, so he, he must, must be doing all, all right. right. And educated. And educated. And educated. Not out. Very, Very good. good. And, and in and earlier scripture, scripture, prior to the one that Clarence just read, we found, found out that, that Abram and Lot, herdsmen, were having, having some disagreements. They both, both have big herds. There's only so many watering places, places to eat, eat etc. Et so they're so having disagreements. So that's, so that's the, the background, background to the story. story. Question, Question number four, why, why does Abram let Lot Choose. He didn't, he didn't want to argue about it. About it. He was the peacemaker. peacemaker. What, what does he, he say, say to Lot? Besides, besides you didn't choose. choose. He said, we, we should, should, we should not argue why. Family. Family. We're family. We're, family. We're, We're close relatives. relatives. We shouldn't be arguing. They said, love one another, love one another. Yes. yes. And, and so, so Abram, in a sense, is honoring uh, God by allowing Lot to choose. So, so and Abram, Abram trusted, trusted that God would provide for him. In a sense, sense it'll, it'll be, be fine. fine. Whatever, Whatever he chooses, I'll, I'll take the other, other and God will take care of him. I don't even have to be the greedy one. one. Why, why is Lot? Question five, five, why, why does Lot choose to settle, settle in the land to the east? That's exactly right. right. He thought it would have been better. better. And, and so, so he, he looks at two, two plots and basically, basically not really plots, plots and big, 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 big area. area. Looks, looks at, at it, it and goes, oh, oh, this one looks, looks a lot better. I'm going to take that one. And then my uncle gets what's left over in a sense. Doesn't sound very nice, but that's what he decides. So, so he, he takes, takes the whole, whole plain of the Jordan toward Zoar, close to Sodom. Sodom. Question, Question number six. What, what does, does the story of Abram and Lot teach, teach us about, about honoring God? God. How to make sacrifices. That's, That's a good, good point. point. Yeah, yeah, very, very good, good point. point. Very, very good, good point. point. We, we need, need to honor God, God in all that we do. Uh, letting a lot decide what's honoring God, God because, in, in a sense, God, God wants want him, him to do that, that to show, show kindness and be peacemaker. Peace so, so, and, 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 and did he have to? Did they have, have, have to do that? No, no he's, he's the senior in a sense in the group. He could, he could have, have said, well, look, let's, let's just divide, divide up. up. Take this side that's, that's what, what I, I want, want, and you go over, over here. He didn't, he didn't have to do that. that. And, and he, he didn't, didn't do that. that. In fact, he let Lot choose. And in a sense, sense Lot deciding to choose wasn't, wasn't honoring God. God. Lot, Lot could, could have, have responded to Abram and say, no, 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 no. You decide where you want to go, and then I'll go in whatever's left. But, but does, does Lot do that? No. no. Lot says, says, ooh, this, this is pretty good. good. I'm thinking this. this. And, and so they, they, they part ways. ways. And, and they, uh, reader number, number two, two, if you'll, if you'll take, take verses 14 through 18. Look around where they go out to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see, I will give you to your offspring. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that the poor look down on the dust, and you're your offspring to the dust. Go, what up in the land where you're from the land, for I'm going to take it to you. So they have a little bit of a great increase of land and big kingdom, for he pitched his tent. There he was a monster to the earth. All right, right, very good. good. Thank you, Sue. Yes, yes, and so, so the Lord, Lord uh, it tells, tells us that the Lord speaks to Abram. Uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty nice. nice. 
<coughs> we, we say, say our, our prayers all the time. time. I don't think that we get to have, have a, a conversation with God, God and, and we may get, get indications, indications from God. We may, we may get, get insights from, from God. God. Um, um, but, but it sounds, it sounds like, like a, the Lord was talking to Abram on a regular, regular basis. basis. And, and um, um, what, what promises does God, God make to Abram? You're going to have children. Yeah. Right. You're right. going to have lots of lots of spring. spring. What are the promises? Are the promises? The All this land All is this yours. All this land is yours. All this land is All this yours. Land is yours. And it will yours and, and, yours and, all, of and all of your will be here. And as and it's, Anita it's said, said, his offering will be plenty. plenty. And, and then the question, question number six is, how, how does God, God show faithfulness, faithfulness to Abram? Abram? With love. With love, With love. Yes. yes. He's, He's faithful, faithful by, by giving, giving him all that, that land, land, keeping him safe. safe. And, and uh, why, why does, does Abram build an altar? Uh, to, to honor, honor God. God, to remember, remember that this is where God gave me this land. This, this is where God, God told me about my offspring. This, this is, is a memorial, in a sense. sense. And he's and he's on, this is not the first altar that Abram has built to honor God. Before, before this particular story, story, he had been around Bethel, Bethel. and he had built some an altar there, there to honor God. God. So, so wherever, wherever he was, was on a permanent basis, basis or semi-permanent semi basis, he was building an altar, altar, to altar to honor God. And, and we should do likewise. You know, God should have, he wasn't paying attention to God had to know that Abraham was going. He would have had Abraham, Abraham was older and very insulted him. You know, he was so busy with me, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. right. And um, of course, well, so we know that things don't really turn out all that well for Lot down the road, you know, or, or his, his wife, wife in particular. particular. But, but uh, and Abraham had to go save him, remember? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and a couple, couple chapters, chapters later, later from, from this lesson, lesson in chapter 13, 13 then, then Lot gets captured, captured by some by enemy, enemy tribes. tribes. And and, and, and uh, Abram, Abram goes, goes to save, save him. him. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's correct. correct. It's, it's a pretty, pretty interesting, interesting story. story. If you haven't read, read it, it, you might uh, read, read a few, a few chapters, chapters before and a few chapters after, after to find out more about Abram. Abram. So, so he settles in Canaan and, and he talks, talks about the great trees of memory. Oak trees, says in the teacher's guide. And so this is how we get here for Abram. Who will, will, of course, eventually become Abraham. And in our post lesson story, wherever, <laughs> um, it talks about uh, three different people who honor God in different ways, depending on where they are. What can, what can you tell, you tell me about, about Christina? Yeah. She, she honored, honored God at her church. She honored God. She, 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 she still like her. her. She, grumbled she grumbled about everything. She didn't, uh, life, life was as, as, as usual, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's like when she got to the church building, it was time to honor God. And when she left the church building, well, now I go back to being good old me. And I don't have to be that person. But, I, mean, but I, mean, I mean, she was, was quite, quite good, good at it. It, it wasn't just like she was put in that front. She volunteered. She did lots of work, et cetera, et cetera. But, but she, she kind of forgot how to do value when she got to work and was complaining about everybody. And didn't it say kind of help herself to the community? Yeah. Well, I think you just stay put at home. So, and then there's good old James. What about James? He was fine at church when he got home. Like some of us always, you get found out your friends, that's why you get new friends. Yeah. And you're grossing drinking like that. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty good when he was in church. He was pretty good at work. People thought he was just a wonderful person. And then it was party time. And he went a little bit overboard on a regular basis. 
That wasn't that honoring, honoring God, God by getting, by getting to, be to be too integrated to drive, drive home. home. Clarence, Clarence, you know about that standout that, that Abraham, Abraham was uh, uh, it, it was a victory for Abraham. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And the last, last person from the story is named Sherry. Sherry. And what, what can, can you tell us about Sherry? She had that serious problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was she really, was really good. good. She, she was really good at work. She was really good with her group of friends. <laughs> yeah. uh, every so often, she might take a solo vacation down to Jamaica or someplace. <laughs> and then she let her hair down, so to speak. <laughs> And, and it, it does, does tell, tell us that we have to honor, honor God wherever we are. And, and it does indicate about changing clothes, not just like changing clothes. I can, I can put, put on my like Christian, Christian clothes because it's Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Remember all that? We used to always have our Sunday best in order to go to church. And then on Monday, not really. Yes, so it's not just like that. Wherever we are, with every action we take, we are, we are either bringing bring others to God, God or to something else. else. That's, That's something else is usually ourselves. ourselves. We, we can, can try, try to make ourselves the center, center, or we, we can, can choose to live like Jesus, Jesus who was who ever, ever, ever tempted to be considered the needs, needs of others. So we don't, so we don't want to be like, like Christina, James, James, or Sherry, although certainly at times in our lives, we probably, probably have been like each of them. them. But we, we want, want to be honoring God, God every day, day in all that we do. Question, Question number 10, what, what can, can make, make it difficult to honor God in various situations? Peer pressure. The people in the, the crowd that you're with, with, certainly, and that, and that goes with peer, peer pressure. pressure. Why, Why is, is it important to honor God, God wherever you are? No, you never know who wants you. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> well, you, well, you take, you take that, that word, you go like to take the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's right. right. What's this? Uh, 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 might, might be Christian, except for, for the Christians, Christians I know. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, uh, when they were out of church, they weren't exactly what they should have been. And, and, and number, 12, number 12, what do you do to remind, remind yourself to honor God, God, God wherever, wherever you, are. you are? Look around outside. Look around. Somebody made that wonderful stuff out there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Those beautiful sunrises we had all year long. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous sunrises. I think, I think being, being humble. humble. Helps, helps us, us to remember to honor God, God where we are, and to think, think about, you know, what we should do, do in that regard. Starting each day with your mind and heart in the right focus for the rest of the day. Yeah. Start counting your blessings. That's a pretty good reason. Yeah. That's like they said, memory and focus. And now, now uh, the uh, next, next page, page of the lesson, lesson it, talks it talks about, about daily, daily Bible, Bible readings. <laughs> and, and I know, I know at least one, one person in our class, class who uses this each and every week to do their daily, daily Bible readings. And, and maybe, maybe more of you do. do. But, but this person wouldn't, wouldn't give me the cord on Sunday. Sunday because we needed it in order, order to see daily scripture readings for her. This, this week, week coming up. up. And, and so, so those, those of you who turned them turned in, them in and have it, I apologize. I have to remember, I remember to take them until the end of, end the, of the scripture, scripture reading. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty impressive. I can't I give, can't it, give to it, to it to you. I have to look at the daily Bible, Bible readings. readings. Mm -hmm. That was pretty darn good. So, so today after church, don't forget the potluck.
If you, you have, have a lot, lot of things, things it's perfectly all right. All right. In, in fact, fact, we will still require you to come to the potluck, potluck and enjoy. enjoy. I, I hope, hope that you will. will. It's so, so nice, nice to be all together, together as one, one whether, whether it's in service, service or, or in the, the potluck. potluck. If, if any of you have time to quit coming to the potluck because you're tired of the pizza, pizza. <laughs> it's not, not pizza, pizza today. today. It's, it's meatloaf meat and, and roasted, roasted pork, pork and, and all kinds, kinds of Hawaiian, and Hawaiian, Hawaiian chicken. So and that, that, that Hawaiian, Hawaiian chicken, chicken has, has a little food skirt on. on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So we go so to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Father, we thank, thank you, thank you for, for today's lesson. lesson. We thank, thank you for, for the Sunday, Sunday school, school class, class, all the people that are here. That uh, we so, so prayer, so, so much of a family, so concerned so about each other. Uh, we thank, thank you for this lesson that reminds, reminds us to honor you wherever, wherever we are and whatever we're doing. And if, if some places place we are or things, things that we are doing are not honoring you, we ask yes. that you would give us strength to remove Move ourselves, ourselves from those situations. And Father, we, we have many people on our prayer list, list that we continue, continue to lift up, up to you uh, for healing, for comfort. comfort. Uh, thankful to Terry Harwood's surgery, surgery and dialysis went well. And ask you to continue to be with them. As you be with Sue Ann as she continues to heal from her hip replacement. We ask you to be with Onisa, who's certainly struggling with some blood sugar issues and this test and that test and another test. I'll be with her that the doctors can figure out what to do. We ask you to be with the Duns, Pete and Nita and the kids. Help Pete and... During, During this, this time, time and, and Nita as he as she and the kids provide care. care. We ask you to be with uh, David Faust and, and Don that there, there might be more good, good days. days. Uh, be with Lynn Brown and as she's she dealing with the cancer, cancer and issues, issues that she's been dealing with for quite a while. We lift, we lift up Jackie, Jackie uh, Woodward, Woodward in prayer, prayer uh, that, that she, she might. might her spirits her might improve, that, that she might feel better and feel better mentally about the situation. situation. And uh, Gina, Gina Nichols, uh, we lift her up, up suffering from cancer. cancer. Um, we, we lift, lift up, up Anita's cancer, health, health issues. issues. Uh, Karen's, Karen's uh, boyfriend, boyfriend James, James, mother, mother, who's had, had surgery, surgery recently and now had full. And so we ask you to be with the Woodfall family as they will have the funeral for her niece uh, next weekend. Father, we lift up these uh, people in our prayers. We lift up our church uh, in our prayers and ask that you would give us guidance, give guidance to the elders and different committees that are trying to do things to help the church to grow and be with Pastor Michael. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Steve, one, this one correction. James Mom, the surgery was postponed. Oh, thank you for letting me know that. Was it postponed because of the slip and fall or was it already postponed? Mm -hmm. Did you mention a Jerry Dryer? Jerry, Jerry Ryder, Ryder, I mentioned, I mentioned earlier. earlier. Oh, Ryder. 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 No, no. Well, me too. Good. Watch them corners. 
Digital output format button five five. Audio format setting in in main menu settings button powering off. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So anyway, I could. Yeah, uh, last week when we came, someone had taken this off, so we couldn't. I don't know who else. But I went by and I locked it. It was there. I locked it in my desk. So now Tuesday we're gonna make another trip to San Francisco, and then after that. Hmm. When the comes in, we'll but, so I ended up going to Best Buy yesterday and getting another one. <laughs> and and, and then plus, Sean, like, what is it that you need? Yeah. And I tried to explain it to him. And yeah. I see her also. Yeah. Well, I hope this little machine was his lightweight and older laptop. Oh, and so. Well, it works pretty well for me, but, um, yeah, it's... Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's lots of stuff. So she had shopped there on, on uh, 291. Yeah. We've been in 